Shabbat Shalom. So much is going on around us. There is a lot to talk about, and we have to talk to each other about what's happening. We have to listen to each other also. This week we're reading Parshat Akev. It begins Akev Tishma'un, and it's the beginning of a whole series of, of Parshiot in the Torah that has a lot to do with what the expectations are when we enter into the land of Israel. Obviously, this is thousands and thousands of years ago. And there's conditional expectations that are set up. That has to do with the following. If you do X, then Y will happen to you. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that we'll go into the land and the land will be a blessing. But if we don't treat it well, if we don't treat each other well, if we don't treat neighbors well, then the blessing will dissipate and we'll find ourselves being cursed. What's interesting about this Parsha as an introduction to this whole segment is that it says, if you listen to my laws, and then it goes on and talks about a little bit about what that means, then this and this will happen. And so it's the word Tishma'un, which has the same root as Shema, like Shema Yisrael, hear or listen. Hearing and listening is really the beginning of understanding. And we live today where in a world where it's very difficult for people to hear. And it's even more difficult for people to listen, listen to each other. If we had more patience, if we had more time, if we had a greater sense of being in a moment, we might give each other a little bit more attention and how important that is. One of the biggest complaints I hear in my office when I counsel young couples is he doesn't listen to me or she says, or he says, she never hears me. She only listens to herself and to her friends. So many relationships can improve, not necessarily by what we do, but just beginning to hear each other. And in the larger scheme of things, in the larger uh, picture of the culture and the society we live in, that's also true. People are separate. They're in their different sides, but they don't hear each other. And that's what we got to do. Ekev Tishmoon. I wish you Shabbat Shalom. And... Um, as we go into the end of the summer, I hope there's some days that are a little bit cooler than the days that we saw this past week. I'll see you in Shul.